guys welcome back to another episode it's a little bit different today guys um, it's a bit of a uh, fit and review of a uh, 270 awning so um, I'm gonna overlay the footage now but um, on our last trip at Logbrook Dam um, the old Kings awning pretty much got destroyed didn't yeah, it mate? Gone, mate. So um, we camped in a big storm down there um, at about one o'clock in the morning I had to get the old knife out and uh, me and Hunty pretty much cut the awning off so it pretty much stopped damaging the car so we went with a bushwhacker awning. Um, it's value for money. We wanted a 270 because it's what we sort of we sort of need um, for what we're going to uh, continue to do. Um, so yeah, you'll see what's in the box, guys. We've opened it up. Um, unfortunately, we're missing a heap of stuff, eh, Hunty? Yeah, but we'll we're missing a heap of bolts. Um, seen some some bolts have been left loose. So I'm hoping it improves from here. That's it, mate. You know. So it. we're going to uh, put on a time lapse, guys, and um, yeah. We'll show you uh, how we struggle fitting this awning. 100%. Now, Luke is here. If you've got a mate who's six foot five, you need him to fit this awning. Yeah, mate. <laughs> so, we'll put the time lapse on, guys, and we'll show you how we roll. Cheers. Righto, guys, so what's in the box? A couple of brackets. Unfortunately, guys, mine are chipped. Um, there's paint missing on them. Um, Bushwhacker had an issue where these brackets were pretty flimsy, so they put this gusset in which they're, they're wicked strong. Unfortunately, guys, if you've got a um, cage roof rack like mine, um, we've had to take it to it with a grinder to um, make sure it fits in there. I'm sure there's other ways of fitting it, guys, but um, yeah, unfortunately, that's the way I've had to roll. Um, also, guys, we need double the amount of bolts. A couple of the bolts are actually damaged. They've got uh, threads missing, unfortunately, so yeah. It's not looking good. They've sort of uh, wrapped the coated these, which which is cool, but unfortunately mine's all chipped and, and sort of coming off. So pretty disappointed. Now I hope my wife's not listening. Um, these awnings are about 1100 bucks. So cheap when you uh, consider a 270, but um, for an awning, it's, it's still quite expensive when you consider it's providing you some shade. So unfortunately, uh, this is the way it goes. I am gonna send Bushwhacker an email, so um, We'll see. I've heard their customer service is exceptional, so maybe we'll get a couple more brackets, some more stainless bolts. So I'll give them an email and see what's up. We're going to fit it, eh, Hunty? Let's go, mate. Let's go. Look at this guy. Get the old grinder out. What a mad dog. Let's go. Chop it. Don't chop the dinosaur, Daddy. <laughs> now, righto, guys, I didn't actually think I was going to have to butcher my uh, roof rack this much, so I've had to grind a uh, chunk out of the rail um, because the brackets now got the gusset on, which I uh, didn't realise. Um, so we've put some rags down, guys, um, to try to stop uh, the drill swarf, but um, we are gonna have to blow this uh, car down and um, also wash it. The old uh, GUs are known for rusting out on the roof, so um, yeah, make sure you take good care. Also, guys, we've got some black paint because um, this is a steel roof rack, it's not aluminium, so we're gonna have to paint all the bare metal surfaces to make sure it doesn't rust, so. I am getting a new roof rack. Once again, hope my wife's not watching. I am getting a flat aluminium rack, so that's why we've been a bit rough and we've hacked it out because we've got an uh, up and coming trip, so we need the awning fitted. So. Right, guys, blowing the uh, roof off, and it's the only way I feel the wind in my hair these days. So make sure you clean the swarf off, guys. It's very important, guys. You That roof will rust that quick. I think it's going to rain the next couple of days as well, so get that shit off. <laughs> Right, guys, probably gonna get a bit of criticism because I went a bit extreme on the uh, grind job there, but I, I did it, we did it so it didn't rattle. Um, pretty happy with the way that turned out. It is solid as a rock, so 
part, as uh, Bushwhacker have said, you want the uh, L bracket as close to the pivot point. Um, so that's where it is. I'll probably hang off that. But, um, it's mainly because that's where the rail is too, eh? Yeah, it's where we, that's where the rail is, where we bolted it. So it's got four bolts in it, so it's pretty... Uh, it shouldn't go anywhere. The car should blow away before the awning. So we'll see how we go. We'll keep going, guys. We'll do the front bracket and then it's pretty much put the awning on. Fingers crossed it goes to plan. So let's go. Right, are you bloody legends? It's day two. Uh, we did buy two of these awnings for um, one of our favourite lads, Tomo. He's fitting it to his GU, but thought we'll spin it around. Tomo also met the faith of uh, the fate of Logebrook, and um, we actually had to cut his King's 270 awning off too. So, hence why he's getting a bushwhacker, eh, Hunty? You know it, mate. So, we're gonna fit uh, fit another bushwhacker awning to this uh, this other big GU. And um, hopefully it's slightly better quality. Hopefully you got a Friday build or a Monday build. Yeah, we'll see how we go. <laughs> Let's go. How do you feel about that King's awning, Tom? Fucking yeet. If you can, guys, spend the money. King stuff, there is a time and a place. And unfortunately, it's not an awning, so. Let's get the whacker on, eh? She's through. First hole. Second hole drew it snapped. <laughs> That's right, it went through, but. You've done yourself a mischief. We've put, the, put a rag down or put a towel down to catch that swarf. Tom doesn't need any assistance with his patrol rusting at, the, at this minute, so. Then, it's important you talk at the spec, eh, Tom? Yeah, boy. How many dogs was that? August. Oh, a few more duggers. A few duggers. Yep. Oh, yeah. She feel firm? Yep. She ain't gone nowhere. Tom, unlike me, got the brackets modified. So they actually, he didn't need to uh, destroy his roof rack. Good job, Tom. Thanks, mate. Good job. First open, Tom O. Moment of truth. Get in there, big fella. Help him out. Yes, Oh, daddy. Now, this is probably one of the coolest features of this awning, eh, Tom? So far, it's pretty good. Self ratcheting tension strap. Look at that. Looks good. That's sick. Like it? Yeah, that's sick. Bit more quality to it than the old Kings one, eh? Drop down pole. Happy days. That's heaps bigger than the Kings one too, isn't it? We'll show you guys how easy the pack down is in a minute. Right, guys, you've seen how easy Tom set it up, so I'm going to show you how to pack it down. So, that was the selling feature. He's blowing a gale, so I'll try to do this quick. Do some origami. 
couple more practices, mate. You'd be able to get that under a minute. <laughs> Good for the old solo runs, eh? That's it, fits the bag really well, guys. Um, that was a selling point. So when the wind kicks up, one person, it's back in its bag, it doesn't get damaged. So that was sort of a selling feature why Tom went a uh, bushwhacker over getting rid of that Kings. Cause when the storm hit last time, Tom tried to pack it down and it was all too late. It was too hard. So that's why we did it, guys. Right, guys, so that's us for another episode. Sank a bit different. Um, uh, fitting these awnings and sort of giving it a mild review. So um, we are still a little bit disappointed, but um, yeah, we're going to contact Bushwhacker. Their um, customer service is meant to be exceptional, so we'll definitely be testing that uh, that one out, eh? Yeah, test yours before I chuck one on the collie, mate. <laughs> Wait till you see that beast up and coming. We've got a couple of things up and coming, guys, um, which are exciting. Luke's uh, bought himself a new four-wheel drive. Um, so he is selling the patrol if anyone's interested. Yeah, 2.8 jet. Let's go. So hit us up guys um, We'll see you for the next one. We're gonna hit the beach and um, yeah Put these awnings to the test. So we will keep you updated if uh, Bushwhacker get back to us, which I hopefully they do So um, we'll be sure to let you guys know. We're signing out guys. Cheers. See ya